to you today about things I have been doing to stay motivated. I'm a pretty self-motivated person, but I'm always looking for things to do inner work um, on myself to keep motivated in the things that I like to do. How do we stay motivated? Well, we have these conversations with ourselves and, you know, we have routines, we have planners, we have journals, all that good stuff. And last year we had uh, Lorraine Torino on our channel and she talked about bullet journaling. At that time, I was not ready to grasp bullet journaling, but I will tell you what happened. Over the pandemic, I purchased the Happy Planner and I love the Happy Planner. But I really thought about all the journals that I have and how I want to use planners and how fast the planners go and you are buying another planner. And I was thinking to myself, you know, no shade to any planner company, but sometimes I just need specific things and I feel like it's an expense that I could figure out how to do it a different way. So I decided to revisit the bullet journal and I wanna give you a little bit about what that looks like today. So I went out, of course, you know, green is my favorite color and I picked up one of these um, nice hardback, big enough to fit in your pocketbook. It has the rubber band on it so you can keep it closed and it has the little marker in place so you can keep your pages. And what I have been doing since July the 15th is I've been, I created a spread and this spread kind of, um, stuck out to me when I bought the you got this the you got this um tablet I was writing down on here and this had like the date and uh, things you must get done your to-do list your appointments your water intake health and fitness your food notes doodles and today's achievements so I kind of like the vibe of that but again it's a tablet I may use it for something else later or give it to my daughter I don't know but I incorporated that in my bullet journal and it gives me time to be creative because I'm a creative girl, we know. And I have been using a spread that looks like the date at the top, a to-do list, a gratitude list, a mood box, an important box, food tabs, and a space in the middle that allows me to do some journaling. And the reason why I did that is because to-dos are important for me to mark off, whether it's like my things that I have going on in my regular day or work. My gratitude because every day I don't want to get stuck in like complaining or not seeing the, the better side of things. So I stay in the space of gratitude. And today I even wrote in the color orange. Um, my mood is because I want to make sure that I acknowledge you know my feeling space and then I work on that because sometimes you can get in a like a very sad or you know anxious and then in the journaling piece once I put that mood there then I kind of pull apart why do why is it that I feel that way or what is it that I can do about it and then start working on you know or did you look at it this way did you look at it that way or what is it further that I need to do and then important because one of the things I noticed over the year is that there's things that are happening that are important that sometimes you miss and you need to bring back up later and when I say that is like oh remember when that happened remember when like for instance when we had to get the tree down when was that and so that would be like an important thing because we just may need to reference that for something later and then food of course because we're going through um, a new food journey and I talked about it a little bit um, we're like 90% plant-based and so uh, we're writing down just a tab for breakfast lunch and dinner and that is our July spread thus far I picked up some cool stickers from the Walgreens just to add in because I love me some stickers um, I don't want to do too much I want to write this time for me is just time to just sit and have space in my routine and write and have time 
for me. So I have like some notes, finish numbers, um, you know, check off lists and stuff. I have some other cute little fun circles and hearts in the months. And uh, this is what I love. I've been adding this to the um, little lines with different colors at the bottom. That just gives me more pizzazz, you know. And it has thoughts, feelings, goals, inspirations, big dreams, and insight. So I picked these up from the Walgreens last week. And that is what I have been doing. The journal itself was $9.99. The stickers were $4.99. And that makes just perfect sense to me to um, keep on going. Now, what has really been making me, I feel like a superstar these last uh, couple of days, actually two weeks now, I think it's been, I have been pulling out my journal and I have been literally getting up in the morning and listening to affirmations. And at first I was just putting the date down, but then I started to uh, think about the time and just the time of the day and so I just sit there and I spend 10 minutes maybe and I'll go from like a video to a video and work on my mind because there's still some think stinking thinking that's what someone used to say in my younger years some stinking thinking going on and I'm working on just putting some very clean thoughts and, and getting regular, rid of negative thoughts and bringing in just beautiful ways to think about certain things. So it's interesting when I get to a place like I'm letting go. I have like a little dot there or sometimes I have a smile. Sometimes when it gets to one affirmation and I don't feel so confident about it, I may put a question mark by it. Some of them, like I smile and I'm like, I feel so good. Days, there's, as the days are going on, I may feel a certain way and then I start to add my own things, my own affirmations. So I've been doing this for about a week and a half now and it has been uh, wonderful for me. So much so that when I've only missed two days, that when I miss it, I'm like, I have to sit down and do my affirmations just to spend, like, again, that time because it's doing something within me to build up um, a different way that I go about doing things so that I don't get stuck. So I just want to share that with you guys today. So I hope this content uh, gives you something to think about, encourages you. Oh, yes. And... Um, you guys know that I'm just like such a pin, a pin fanatic <laughs> that these are on sale because it's of course it's school time for $4.99 at Walgreens too. So I picked these up. I have so many of these different um, color pins. These are one of my favorites. Someone asked me which your which ones stay with you? Steelers, right? I have these pins, and then I have these two. These are big intensities. And um, I have the, we gave these away in our Simply Study group. I have detailed doulers. I have two packs of these. So I'm always um, stocked and ready with things to write with in different colors. And I have so much um, more, like it's crazy. But I hope this encourages you and um, blesses you and gives you some something to think about as far as your motivation because um, right now it's just you know we haven't come out of difficult times and as much as we're trying to keep doing the things that we love sometimes we can get caught in just you know so much and so I am working on just creating and rewiring Rhonda if that's that's what I want to say, Re rewiring Rhonda. And with that, that means digging deeper and making better decisions about um, financial things and time and, you know, projects and being true to myself, being creative that because that's who I am and having fun and really working on who I want to become in the next in the next season of my life. That excites me. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon.